Oh, hello, you've just caught me uh, finishing off a circuit board, actually, that I'm making. Um, here it is, you'll probably see it backwards in the camera. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting this together, and this will be um, on a future video. It's quite interesting, I haven't quite completed it yet. Now, listen, the, this video is a test video, because, um, yeah, I've decided that uh, interim mid-roll adverts are the bane of the devil, and I'm stopping them on my videos going forward. Now, on past videos, unless I actually go into each and every video and take it off to YouTube, I don't want it. I'm afraid they're there to stay. But as most people have already watched those, I don't think that's a biggie, quite honestly. So from now on, though, no more mid-roll adverts. Why have I come to this decision? Well, funny enough, I was having a conversation with my electronics engineer just about a week or so ago about this whole thing, about how intrusive they were or could be intrusive. And then, coincidentally, I was watching a video on YouTube and there must have been five or six mid-roll adverts, you know, placed at particularly inappropriate moments. Just as you're getting into some technical discussion, bang, you've got this full-blown TV-style advert. Now, those little overlays you get, you know, down here at the bottom, about this bit of the screen here, where you can just click a little X if you want to, I could sort of put up with those, but when they come in your face like a TV advert and inter 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 interrupt the program, that was just that was just poor. And I thought, hang on, if I'm getting this from a video that I'm watching, a, a different channel this is, um, then are you guys getting that from my channel? And I thought, this is not what I want. Uh, and then, funnily enough, first of all, Phil gave us this comment. Let's have a look. So Phil writes this, it says here four days ago, so, and he says, basically, he's irked that there are these mid-roll adverts that get in the way. And I thought, funny you should say that, Phil. Um, you can read his full post here, and indeed my answer if you really want to. But basically, I'm saying, yeah, I sort of hear you, Phil. I hear what you're saying, and I'm sure he's not the only one. So, I thought, I thought, well, yeah, am I gonna, am I gonna kill it? And I thought, well, how much revenue do you get? How much revenue do I get from YouTube for having these mid-roll adverts? And the answer is, I haven't the faintest idea. I don't even know if there's a way to find out, but frankly, I'm just not that bothered because the, the intrusiveness of these adverts really got to me when I was watching that other video. And then the icing on the cake, the thing that the straw that broke the camel's back. I was looking at a comment from a viewer and he, and he was commenting on a piece, an old video. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll just go into the video by clicking on the comment bit. You can do that and um, see what he's talking about. So YouTube took me into my video, I started to speak, and within a second or two, I got a mid-roll ad in the middle of one of my videos, mid-sentence. I mean, it's just, I thought, surely not. I mean, YouTube do promise that they put them at sensible places if they're gonna put me in at all. But mid-sentence is most definitely not a sensible place. So I thought, that is it. That, that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back, as I said. So from now on, no mid-roll adverts. Now, what will happen is you'll get an advert at the beginning, possibly two. I can't control that. You just say, yes, I'll allow ads at the beginning and at the back. But of course, most people skip those anyway. Uh, and let's just talk about skipping ads. Some people seem to be under the illusion that if you... For me to get any kind of revenue from YouTube, you have to watch the entire video. Not true. I think you just have to watch the, the bit you you can't skip. You know, so you get the little countdown timer in the, in the bottom right hand corner, somewhere down here. Yeah, and it says, you know, five, four, three, two. I think once that bit has gone, the, the uh, advertiser gets charged and you get, the, the channel owner gets credited with, yes, an ad was placed. I mean, let's face it, if... Microsoft places an advert in one of my videos, or perhaps YouTube places a Microsoft advert to be more accurate, about um, Monday, I think it's called, it's some team collaboration thing. I have zero interest in that, no interest whatsoever. What's the point of me watching it? So I skip it. I do that on all the videos that I watch, unless there's something I think, oh, well, that's interesting. If it's some glue that requires some UV pen or something, which I've looked into I, I watched the whole advert but only because it interests me so do not please do not feel obliged to watch any advert on my channel the only advert you are going to have to watch unfortunately are the embedded ones you know from my sponsors but even then you get a little countdown now deliberately so you know how long it's going to take yeah and that's the only ad that's really well I'm not saying it's required for you to watch at all I mean there's always the the fast forward button isn't there but you know that's the one that isn't controlled by YouTube so from now on then no mid-roll ads 
there'll be one at the beginning one at the end maybe two but you can skip those as well as far as i'm concerned and that is it okay and if my revenue drops like a stone so be it i've, I've just had it now and what with all these different things happening just at the same time within a week or two i think okay that's it now you might be saying why are you waffling on why do you keep saying the same thing why are you reiterating what you've already said well i've got to make this video eight minutes long or more because it's only then that you can get mid-roll adverts and i want to make sure that there are no mid-roll adverts in this video so when this goes up to YouTube, I'm going to say, do not put mid-roll adverts on this video, please. And I want you guys to tell me if you get a mid-roll advert. So remember, it's not the one at the beginning. It's not the one at the end. It's in between. All right. You should not see a single ad. <laughs> ah, cool. Well, actually, I don't, it hasn't been eight minutes yet. So let's. what else can we talk about? I mean, you're obviously seeing my workshop now for a change rather than my desktop all the stuff and you can see it's all a bit it's all a bit messy but there's thousands of components in here and bits and things i'm working on um oh no let's lighten the mood what else do i do apart from this well my my second great um interest in life apart from all this sort of stuff is music i've listened to music forever right i used to be a dj actually you know um bar mitzvahs weddings engagements you name it i did it for about 10 years Okay, this was a little while ago. It was in the 90s, the early not No, it was all through the 90s, about 91, 92, all the way through to beyond New Year's Eve on uh, in the year 2000. Probably 2001, 2002 I finished. But anyway, so, you know, interest has been a big part of my life. And uh, I listen to all sorts of music. It's quite an eclectic interest that I have, to be sure. I can listen to, you know, something from the 50s and something from the 2020s. It's the same. It doesn't matter to me it's whether i like it or not and i've just discovered a new band now i don't know if you've heard of um, an existing band this is the one i'm going to talk about uh, this band sang the final song on the film miss peregrine's school for uh, exceptional children let me just check that no it was miss peregrine's home for peculiar children it's a coming of age teenager type video but it, it was nice it was on a sunday afternoon i just happened to watch it and uh, the film was was nice it was okay you know the quite clever little time travel thing in it but the closing credits had a song on it but the song was quite haunting and i thought i like that sound i like it who is this woman anyway so i I'd, I'd researched found out that it wasn't just one it was a whole group and then about two three weeks ago one, uh, once I was, listen I was listening to German radio, funnily enough, Antenna Eins from uh, Stuttgart. And um, a song came in and I thought, oh, it's that group again. Great, what are they singing now? But it wasn't that group. It just sounded a bit like that group. Only a bit, though. Now, the two groups we're talking about are, the original group was Florence and the Machine. Right, that's Florence Welch uh, and her, her team, her, her group members. Uh, there's a little play on words why she calls them the machine or the the guy i'll let you look in wikipedia for that um now sophie and the giants so you've got sophie scott on vocals you've got um, the lead guitarist is that toby holmes uh, the bass guitarist the, the original bass guitarist left I don't, I don't know why i can't find out much about them at all really but at the moment it's antonia pools and on drums there's chris hill now the thing that attracted me to me to the, both these groups is that they are professional musicians they they know their stuff and the vocals are very good and they've got this this certain something this je ne sais quoi that you just think oh that's nice that that attracts me and i want to listen to some more so here are the two groups the links be down below go and have a listen if you think well not my style mate i just i just don't like those fine that's that's the way of music isn't it yeah but uh, you might discover two new groups out of it but they, they're very different groups and independent um, and they got this talent as i say so you go and have a listen and um, hopefully by now this video is over eight minutes so i can stop waffling on and uh, just do a, a test everybody out there everybody watching this i want you to do the test and make sure that there are no mid-roll adverts in this video and if there are please tell me right okay i think we're sort of done now yeah um i'm i'm sweltering in this workshop in fact if i turn my other camera on where's my other camera it's uh, this one here there are look that's pointing at my temperature thingy on the wall uh, the left hand 
temperature, 35, that's the temperature outside, 36 is what it's in here, which is why I'm dying and probably going to go inside soon and watch a bit of telly or something because it's a lot cooler indoors than it is out here. That is hot. For the UK, it's stupidly hot and we're just not used to it, not having got air conditioning or anything. Oh, it's just too much. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm sure this must be eight minutes or more now. So that's the end. Thanks very much, guys. Remember, no mid-roll adverts from now on. Do tell me if you ever see any. Thanks very much for watching. See you in a proper video very soon. I hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting. There are plenty more videos to choose and a couple are shown below. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, just click on my picture below and enjoy the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching.